Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Alif Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the ECA process. If you want to apply for Canadian immigration, the first thing is that you need to get your degrees evaluated. It is called Educational Credential Assessment (ECA). Okay, and there are five ECA bodies for uh, non-professionals and for doctors there is another, and for pharmacists there is a seventh ECA body. Okay, so for these ECA bodies, what happens is. that uh, you send your documents there is a procedure and after that the eca body will have their own procedure and at the end they would give you an educational credential assessment right so in this video i'm going to give you an example of ves world education service so when you apply for an eca there are three steps involved okay so the first step is obviously the onus is on you to prove that uh, you have provided your documents accordingly so you go to the ves website world education service you go to you choose canada because you are applying for canadian immigration okay and then you submit that online application on the west portal okay and after that you pay their fee and you ask your university to send the documents to ves or whatever uh, the document requirement of ves is for your country okay so after you have actually submitted them documents submitted the online application submitted the fee then what happens is ves will review your documents they would see if they if the documents are authentic they would check with the organization that sent uh, those documents to ves whether it was in a print form or it was online depending on your country of uh, education okay and in the third step after critically evaluating all your educational credentials that you have sent them they would issue you an eca report now let's understand the process okay because if you if you are applying for eca if you are applying for canadian immigration you should not waste any time for getting your educational credential assessment because as we know that uh, we can do ielts any time we want we can just book our ielts test and we can attempt that and after that we'll have our language results but eca could take time so you have to jump in the eca process as soon as you possibly can okay so the first stage of how this eca process actually works let's uh, dig deep into it so the first step is document imaging it is like when your documents reach ves uh, the specialists who are in the team of uh, ves obviously they are going to review your documents they are going to determine whether you have chosen the right procedure according to your country of uh, education because for example uh, in india Uh, your universities can send those documents online through a secure portal okay for pakistan you have to submit a sealed envelope by the higher education commission to ves okay and for some other countries like for uk simply your university will send those documents online to ves and you don't have to do anything maybe your university will charge you a fee but that is separate it is concerning your university not the eca body okay so they basically check whether you have met the requirements that were set for your country you can check those requirements on your relevant eca website if you choose ves icas ices whichever uh, they have a list of countries and you have to put in your country and you have to check what is the requirement for your country of education and during that stage your uh, my account uh, portal on on west website it will actually say that your documents are in process we are processing a new package or document for your application and uh, then they will give you a status last updated date as well so the second stage is document review and authentication so uh, now they have received your documents and they are reviewing your documents they are authenticating them they are checking if the stamps are origi original if the file that you submitted on uh, ves portal it is complete and as specified by ves and during this stage your ves my account will show that we are reviewing your documents then comes the analysis and evaluation assessment because that is where um, specialists related to your country because obviously your country has a separate uh, dimensions demographies cultures so the analyst that will be assigned to your uh, case would obviously have your country specific information and based on that information based on uh, what the criteria is set for achieving that degree in your country uh, those analysts would be giving you an evaluation and during that stage your status will be in progress and they would be saying that we are analyzing 
and evaluating your documents. So these analysis will basically decide uh, on your next steps that whether you are going to get a successful ECA report or not. And if the analysts determine that uh, the, the documents received, the application received, everything is as per West guidelines, then your status will be in progress and they would say, we are reviewing your evaluation. Okay, so you can always check all these um, timelines on your my account portal. Okay, when you open that my account portal, there will always be a status there. And if you see we are reviewing your application, it means that things are looking good right now. And if uh, the evaluators determined that any of the documents that you have provided, they need secondary verification, additional documents, then at that stage, they would ask you to submit any um, secondary supporting documents related to your uh, submitted documents. And uh, that uh, is actually a concern. It does not happen and your status will be on hold but it does not happen to 90% of cases because mostly people actually follow the guidelines by watching my videos or some other youtubers so uh, you don't want your status to be on hold even if it is on hold they ask you for extra documents you submit them and your status will be like uh, on hold we are waiting for your documents okay so whenever your additional secondary documents have actually reached west then the evaluation report will be produced and your status will be uh, in progress your report is under final review and your evaluation will be sent to your recipients so you basically choose recipients uh, for example IRCC is an automatic recipient when you are applying for uh, when you are choosing the immigration plan for educational credential assessment and if you want to send your West report to some uh, third party then you can also choose that uh, recipient but it is not required at this stage okay so uh, at that time your application is complete and you would be good to go thing to note is that west takes surprisingly low time as compared to the other eca bodies okay they could take like 10 12 15 20 days it is uh, at the speed of flight okay and uh, the average processing time for indian and pakistani applicants is somewhere around 30 days but sometimes it also completes in 10 days so west does all of that in 30 days and uh, other eca body do that in three months four months six months so uh, thing is west is therefore preferred by everyone i mean everyone the people who have gone through express entry they always uh, suggest west to others people who are going to a consultant the consultant will refer you west and the new uh, beginners uh, to this process they would know that west is the only eca body because west is that famous so this is basically how the science behind eca works and i hope this video will help you understand what kind of things are required of you and how you are going to follow up your eca application this is the first step of Canadian immigration and when you have submitted your documents you should start preparing for your IELTS and uh, you should attempt that IELTS test before getting your ECA report so that when you have your ECA report you have your IELTS report you can just jump into your express entry profile and create your complete comprehensive express entry profile I have many videos on that so this is Alif Dakar wishing you guys all the best for your Canadian immigration